Hi, this is Keith with the Charleston Tour Pass, and I just want to clarify a few things and help everyone uh, have a great experience whenever they visit. So the first thing is we created these passes um, a few weeks ago, so you may have an issue trying to find your Tour Pass link. So what I want you to do is go to your email, and here at the top I want you to search for Tour Pass, and then hit search. So what you're looking for is this uh, email that says your Tour Pass app is ready for Charleston. So let's click on that. You'll see a link here about midway down. Click on that link. Here it opens your pass. So um, the first thing I want you to do is add it to your home screen. So if you scroll up and down, I'm on an iPhone, um, but on an Android you'll see three little dots in the corner. So you see here this box on the very bottom middle with the up arrow. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add it to my home screen and I'm going to hit add up here in the corner and you'll see it adds an icon here so I can quickly find it at any time. Uh, the second thing is here you see this getting started video. I definitely recommend everyone watch this video um, so once you choose your activation date, so let me go ahead and choose an activation date. Okay, so it says here, um, use your two days on or before 616. So it's, it's giving me a 10 day window to choose my two active days. So <clears throat> for instance, if I choose my active day on Monday, and then I don't plan on doing anything on Tuesday and then I choose my second active day on Wednesday I can only visit all attractions on either Monday or Wednesday because you have a two-day pass but how we have it set up is you have ten, a 10-day 10 window to use your two days so um, you have to make all visits whether featured or walk-in on those two active days so um, if you have any questions, please let us know, and I hope that you have a safe trip to Charleston.